Oh man, we're getting the pool running. So I feel like you could move to Mexico right now. Good morning, welcome to the vlog. We're happy you're here. Um, Ambry's heading to school. I'm, I was kind of asking her some questions here. You'd think she was heading on a trip. But what's going on here, Ambry? Anything but a backpack day. Anything but a backpack. So could you bring like... Just has to be similar in size. Similar in size. You can't bring like a four-wheeler or an e-bike. I was actually about to bring an e-bike. But that is serious. That would be hard to get up and down the stairs in the mm -hmm. school, huh? And probably get stolen. Okay, so we're going with pink backpack, pink suitcase. Yep. Okay, awesome. Good luck. Thank you. Um, April went to the temple this morning. I'm getting the kids off to school tomorrow. Ender and I are off to Idaho for his last ballroom competition. You want to come? Yes. You'll be with us all weekend. You'll miss a couple days of school. I've never been to Idaho, I think. How about? Okay. Yeah, everybody's been to Idaho. Not me. Where's Idaho? Above us. North of us. Is it? Is it a state? Idaho's a state. Yeah. I always get states, countries, and... What's it? Idaho is where, pota is where potatoes come from. I know, spud. The spuds. I yep. Know. Okay, we'll talk about it after school. We're we're getting a hotel room with two queen beds, so. That's fine. I'll share it with anybody. And you could help me drive too. I can. Fun yeah. fact: the first time I ever drove was on a road trip with my family. My dad let me drive on some country road when I was underage. First time I drove was in Idaho. Just saying. Just saying. We'll talk about it after school. Okay. Okay. All right. On a run with Frank. And just me and him today in the doggos. I'm ready for spring, ready for summer. Oh, I love getting out here. It's good for the soul. Exercise and sunshine. Every day if you can. So great. Look at this view. Yeah, I'll take it. Daisy, find someone that looks at you the way Ambry looks at Kip, okay? That's your goal. Yes! Oh, my baby. Oh, yes. Kip, baby. Yes. Oh, yes. Kippy. Kippy, oh, baby. He likes to bite me. Yes. He loves you. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, Got your baby. <laughs> oh, man, we're getting the pool running. Slides up. That's real nice. Kippers! Kippers! Yes. I've never seen the slide run. That's looking real nice. Real nice. Okay, checking in with Kip. His eye is not better. I think it looks it's about like the it's same. Not it's not as big. It's more red. It, it's definitely changed. Ella's a little grumpy with Ella, him. come here. She's just kind of... <sighs> but she was grumpy with Cookie, too. Cookie! Cookie likes playing with Kip. Where's Kip? Good the puppy. Oh, where's the puppy? Kip, come on. Oh, the puppies. Okay. Another night, Frank? Looks like we got a mean yeah. game of Sleeping Queens going on here. Is true. Frank, is Mama winning? Mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead. A little bit. Steal. <gasps> Show me your cards. Yours. Oh. Nice. Perfect. So, Ambry, it's settled. You're coming so to excited. Idaho. You're coming to You're coming to I went to lunch with my girlfriends and I came back, and Davey's like, What do you guys talk about? I'm like, Mostly Jesus. <laughs> That's really what me and my friends talk about. And I loved the conversation today. A lot of the conversations were really based around like, um, 
like, I'm gonna try to re remember, because there were a lot of conversations, but the one that stuck out to me was, um, what did she say? Like, she sent me a podcast name. Oh, willingness instead of worthiness. Like, there's a lot of things that people say just because they've heard them repeated their whole lives and like they don't really stop and think about them and how it might feel when you hear that. Cause like the truth is your worth as a human, it cannot change. Like someone once said, like they, they did like the example with like a $20 bill. Like they, they poured ketchup on it and stumped on, stomped on it and like made it dirty and like crumpled it, ripped it in half. Like the value of it was still $20, right? <laughs> like, but that's not even a good comparison because it's money and we're talking about actual souls. Like the worth of souls to God is great. Like more than we compre can comprehend. Anyway, a lot of the time people are like, oh, I'm so proud of this person for being worthy of doing this. And it's like, let's stop using that word and use the word willing. Because if you're willing to serve, like no one, there's people that feel where is it coming? There we go. The lights are bad. It's so bright out here when I go in the sun. There are people that are like such amazing, great people that can get into a spot in their mind where they're still like, oh, I'm not doing enough. I'm not worthy because they're like not realizing their worth is not something that can change. <laughs> right? So I loved that conversation. Um, Christ is always going to look at us and love us and value us and he will sit with us where we're at. And, and a lot of the same other things that were said we're like the come as you are like Jesus doesn't care what you've done where you've been he wants you to come to him like that is a message that was like it touched my heart when someone was like come as you are um and there's just so many people in my friend group they've just gone through so many hard things and just have amazing stories and I just love listening to them and their testimonies and their experiences and how they've fought through life like sometimes people have to like do something that you might think oh that's against what I thought we would need to do but they do it and they have good hearts and they like still need to go on their own journey right so leaving space for people to make mistakes and and realizing that they are covered by the atonement of Jesus Christ. So I just really love that. That was our conversation. So Frank's yelling for me. I gotta go find him. You what? You made a mess? Yeah. Right. There was a hole. That's what you were yelling for me for? Oh yeah, you did. Just water though, right? That's not really a mess. Just water. Is it still one? I made a little mud pile right here. Oh well. Huh. Fun. Don't you want to hang out with me? Hi. Let's go lay in the hammocks. It's a nice spot right here. These are fun. It's like bouncy. <laughs> Alright, I guess Frank's ditching me for the teens. But I'm just going to relax in hammock. I've had a really great day. I went to the temple. It was beautiful and wonderful. And I loved it. And then I went to lunch with my girlfriends, which was wonderful and beautiful, and I loved it. And then I came home, and now I'm in the hammock, so it can't get much better than that. <laughs> Yesterday I cleaned all day, though, so now I can feel like I can relax. And it's good to rest some days. I did go and pull some weeds, so I did do something productive about chores today, but other than that, it's a rest day. Guys, I was just sitting here in awe of Daisy's handle on the Spanish language. I feel like you could move to Mexico right now and survive completely. Mm. I could put you in a Spanish, all Spanish school and you would get along just fine. Uh, not with math and all those vocabulary words that I don't know. You learn it. How, how were you in Mexico like listening to conversations and stuff. Did you pretty much get the gist of it? I could understand it? you. Cause I speak the best. <laughs> Why could you understand me? Because I can understand an English like. Because I'm a gringo. Accent. No, I can understand an American accent better than a fast-speaking Mexican person. 
I want to have a Mexican accent. Sorry. It's easier to, for me to understand non-natives. That's true. Because that's all I speak with, mostly. You would pick it up dang fast if you lived in Mexico. Let's get to the point of this conversation. What's it like having the coolest dad in the world? Just for those of us that don't, like, what's it like? You're just curious? Yeah, just try to describe it, the day-to-day -day interactions with me. Like, just what's it like? I just wake up every day. I'm like, wow, I have the best dad ever. That's my first thought every okay, day. Okay, yeah, that's you wake up. But, like, what, what, what's it like? I know you it just blows want me your to mind. talk about you more. Yeah, like, what's it like interacting with me on the daily? Well, in public, like, at a school, for example, like, hypothetically speaking, like... Like, not a real situation. No, 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 okay, no. okay, what, Just, yeah. Like, you're subbing for the class, and I'm like, oh, this is awesome, my dad isn't subbing the class. And then you say, everyone... Give a round of applause for Daisy Orgo. <laughs> you and deserve they give it. give me a round of applause. The applause you deserve. And then like 10 minutes later, he's like, every, no, two minutes later, every, he's like, everyone give Daisy another round of applause. And I have to, I get to stand right in front of the whole class. As you deserve to be applauded for your amazingness. That would be way cool. So yeah, so that's a hypothetical situation. But what, mm -hmm. what real things do I do that is just like... You make breakfast casserole. Oh yeah. Every Sunday morning. I eat it Monday morning. And I'm funny. And what happens... I should just let you rattle off. Like, you seem like you know all the answers. Or no, you know I, want, you know. I want to you hear it from you. you hear. I want to hear it from you. Like, what happens... I'll lead you a little bit. What happens if you turn your back on a plate that you've prepared or an ice cream bowl? It just disappears. <laughs> so I'm a magician. Yes. A bit of a magician. And you juggle knives. I can juggle knives, oranges, so I'm a bit of a circus clown, you would say. You could be in the circus. Yes. Um, what else? What's it like? Just Do you cry ever thinking of all your friends that don't have the coolest Just dad in the world? so sad. Heartbreaking. Like, they don't have what I have. They never will. Yeah. Well, thanks for sharing that with me, and I'm very helpful with math homework. You're humble. Humble. Um, and, like, it's not like you just call your little brother to help you with math. He's not that smart. <laughs> I let him think he is, but he's but you're, not. But you're smarter than he is. It's just the, the degrees he has is just paper. True story about my little brother... He used to cry every, like, he actually owes his whole education to me because in elementary school he would cry every single day and I would have to talk him into going to school. Like, every day we'd meet in the hall and, I don't want to go. And I'd be like, Jimmy Joe, it's going to be worth it. You might be a YouTuber someday. Just go to school. I didn't say that, but I basically, he owes me his entire doctorate. I'm, I'm basically a doctor <laughs> because of this. You're a doctor. Well, I his or degree is no his no his degree. He's a doc, has a doctorate. He basically owes it all to me. Did he have to go to high school to get that? No, I went to college you to didn't get help his him doctorate. Go to college. It, he wanted to quit school right then and there and be a hillbilly. He could have been homeschooled. And Jimmy Joe, started. Billy Joe, like he would have been a hillbilly. And he basically owes it all to me. Just, I mean, I'm not bragging or anything, but... So, if you're so, like, good at being educated, why didn't you get a doctorate's degree if you're the education whiz? Because we have a team doctorate. Yeah. I don't need another one. You don't need it. You already have one. Need you don't need two. two. That'd be it's ridiculous. Braggy, yeah. Yeah, you don't, you don't want to come off that so, way. So yeah, if you want to call me Dr. Davey, that's fine. I'll just feel free to do that. Mm -hmm. so. Well, good talk, Daisy. Um, keep up the good work. And well, we did state testing today. I told you you didn't have to do that. Well, I kind of half-heartedly did it. If so I knew how to do something, some I did dumber. it. If I forgot how to do it, I just skipped it. I just did whatever. That makes your school seem dumber and that the teachers aren't doing their jobs and they don't get their bonuses. It, it, 
I, everyone does it. They probably know that we don't want to do the tests. So it's like, why we don't even take the test? To get data. There was probably like two people in the class that actually tried. All right. Well, good job. Okay. Good catching up with you, Daisy. Um, adios. Adios. Nos vemos. Nos vemos. Que Dios bendiga. Que Dios bendiga. Adios. Hey, guys. Um, you translate for me. Find good in everything. Busca. Busca la buen, lo bueno. Lo bueno en todo. En todo. See you tomorrow, guys. Cookie, puppy. Come here, cookie. Give me. Oh.